officially in St. Martin. All right, so we're here in beautiful St. Martin. Awesome weather. As you can see, obviously Caribbean weather. Um, a beautiful view of the mountains here. And uh, we can't wait to explore the island already. I mean, you know, uh, we had, we basically pulled an all-nighter tonight. Uh, we were in Philadelphia. Uh, well, we had to drive to Philadelphia from uh, okay. North New Jersey area. So that was about an hour and a half. Um, we did that drive at two in the morning. We got to Philly around 3.30, 3.40 a.m. Uh, checked in, took our flight uh, to Orlando. Stayed there about three, four hours, uh, and then we came over here to St. Martin. So we're, we're pretty much tired, which is uh, unusual for a such a close trip if we would just gone straight over here. But we're here for free. Our tickets were free. We used our points, and we did not have to pay a dime to come over here. And we also had a, um, a we redeemed a timeshare uh, gift. So we only spent $300 on our hotel. So not a problem. So we're here for like 390 bucks. St. Martin, you cannot beat that at all. So we're just excited. We're just waiting um, for our car rental guy to take us, get our car rental, and then off we go and enjoy the beautiful Caribbean island of St. Martin, which is really the smallest, uh, I would say the smallest landmass that is divided between two different countries. You have the French side and you have the Dutch side. And we're gonna explore both. So this is our place where we're gonna stay, the Sapphire Beach Resort or Beach Club. We got a room, so let's check it out. Here's the bathroom. Has a pretty big tub. All right, all the essentials. You got a pretty big refrigerator here. Nice kitchen. I think that's a dishwasher. Microwave, cabinets. There's my Sleeping Beauty. She uh, was talking the whole time in the airplane with someone next to her and she um, she didn't get rest. And now this is the result. She has a beautiful island and now all she wants to do is sleep. How terrible is that? But anyways, we got a TV, closets, a uh, nice little table to sit down, a pretty nice sofa set. Almost looks like a sofa bed. It could be a sofa bed, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, pretty comfy sofa. And then we have an amazing view out here. Pool. You got people on jet skis out there. And then you also have a tub, but unfortunately it's out of service. I have no idea why. Um, which kind of sucks it a little bit because it um, would have been nice to be here in the nighttime, get in the beautiful Caribbean breeze. But um, here we are, here we are, man. And you know, use my points for this. So, um, I can't really complain. Is it the most beautiful place I've stayed in? No, um, but it is really spacious and it was really cheap. So I cannot complain about the spot. Okay, so now we are here in the entrance of the Loitery Farm. Um, should have like a nice pool, a beautiful relaxation area. Look how beautiful this place is. Check it out.
place looks really beautiful. Um, definitely a change from all the beaches and everything. We are pretty much toasted from our day trip in Angola. So. Okay, so we're finally in the Lottery Farm. So this is more of like if you just want a relaxing time, uh, kind of like seeing the nature, look how beautiful this place is. Um, this is definitely the place that you want to be. Um, here in St. Martin, basically the whole thing is really about the beaches. The French side, you do have some historic museums and all that kind of stuff. If you want some shopping, all that is here in the French side too. But this is more of like, all right, let me relax. Let me just calm down. Uh, we've had already a lot of sun already from our trip in Angu Anguilla. So this is a perfect place for you to actually be here to enjoy the beautiful nature. It, it kind of like makes you um, kind of feel like you're in a, in a jungle, in a rainforest, stuff like that. So perfect. Now, how much did we pay to come in? We went on the cheap side because we're not going to go all out here. We just want to spend a couple of hours here and just relax. So we got the sun beds. The sun beds are 25 euros each. So it ended up being basically like 50 bucks for us to be here and just be here. But you can get uh, cabanitas, which have like a canopy and those are more expensive. I think they're um, uh, 50 euros per person. And you also have uh, some up there as well. So, you know, you can basically choose what package you want, right? So, you got the pool here. There's a jacuzzi up there as well. So, we are really happy to actually check this place out and enjoy it to ourselves. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Stop recording. <laughs> Stop recording. That's my wife. That's my wife. <laughs> Oh, this water is so nice. Feels great. You could touch the ground. I can't. <laughs> truly, truly a really nice place to come and relax. Uh, I love the music. I love that it's not crowded too, you know. I mean, we haven't really been to a place in this trip that's been crowded, honestly. So that's the advantage of going to a smaller island in the Caribbean. It also could be that there's a festival going on today, exactly. So while we were going to Anguilla, uh, there was a lot of people at the ferry. It was a long time trying to get in, but we got in. But going back home wasn't really that many people. So I'm assuming it's not that crowded because of that. Everybody's in Anguilla. That's true. But it's also a weekday too. Today's Monday, yeah. the start of the week. Um, and we are basically in the beginning of August. Today's August 1st. So, um, you know, the really, the times where it gets really packed around here is really in July. So uh, it's a good time to come the first week of August. Don't, don't come late August and all that kind of stuff because you, ha you run the chance of getting um, the, the hurricanes going. Um, you know, it's hurricane season right now, but uh, usually late August, September, that's really when the hurricanes start hitting. So yeah, be careful with that. Is this a jacuzzi? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> From what I could tell, yes. <laughs> is it really, really hot? Oh, no, it's not hot at all. It's just, I would imagine it's like the pool. Oh. Not a jacuzzi. Unless there's uh, another spot. 
So it's just a jacuzzi here, but um, we're not really sure if it's gonna be hot or not. So good though. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely not hot. But it's really nice. Second, the other side, it's uh, a kids' park, I believe. And then on that side, we have monkeys uh, running around. I noticed some monkeys uh, earlier. So pretty cool. Oh, look at the iguana being refreshed. His name is Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry! This is truly the life. One day, one day, this will be me every single day. Just relaxing in a jacuzzi in a pool for the rest of my days. My lovely wife. All right, so amazing time here at the Lottery Farm. I recommend it. You guys gotta come and enjoy. Okay, currently we are in Maho Beach, the famous Maho Beach in St. Martin. Beautiful beach, amazing color. But um, we're not really here for this beach, we're really here for this right here. So we see the jets, they're about to take off here. Um, this is incredible. We're actually waiting for a flight from uh, Miami to come in. Um, actually, I think, it's, I think it's here. So we're about to get that plane coming in. And then we have uh, this one that's about to take off, a Delta. That should be pretty interesting. So we just got blasted a couple of times here uh, from these uh, jets. What do you think? Well, I think it's very nice, very beautiful, but if you're very sensitive of hearing, I think that um, this, unless you have earplugs, this is pretty cool to watch, but it is really, really loud. Um, specifically with the jets and airplanes, though obviously the engine is a lot bigger and the motors are a lot bigger. so. That jet blast, not only coming in, but also uh, leaving, that jet blast does hit, uh, push a lot of sand, and the sand is hitting you at like a fast speed, so it kind of hurts when you're standing so close to it, but it's awesome. Don't miss it out. So, uh, all I gotta say is that uh, it is pretty nice to be at such a beautiful beach here, and uh, you know, see these planes, it is pretty cool. That's probably the main attraction. That's why people come here to actually see this and feel it in person. Um, but like everyone else explains, you are gonna get sand in your face. It's gonna smack you and you might get pushed. There are a couple of rocks here. So be careful, you know? The, it, over here, you can feel it a lot. Imagine before they even uh, cut off next to the fence. If you could see on the fence, it says jet blast danger, danger. They don't yeah, like um, they had to actually close off, a, put an extra barrier because we, there was a couple of people that did die from the jet blast hitting something and getting severely injured and then dying. So, um, you know, do be careful, stand a little farther so that way you don't really get uh, hurt. You could be really injured here. Um, so that's that. But uh, you should definitely come and experience this. Beautiful beach to swim. Um, I'm not probably going in. She she definitely went in. She said I gotta get a nice yes. little dip. So water water is excellent. It's nice and relaxing. 
only thing is you are gonna feel a little bit of seaweed in there, but it's not seaweed like disgusting. It's just a little bit when you feel it, you know, floating around. In the water. Yeah, so um, really cool experience. Definitely come check it out. All right, so currently we are now in Phillipsburg. Um, is the capital of the Dutch side of St. Martin. And um, we're basically near Front Street where you see all these different shops. Uh, you can buy some goodies from here. And generally this is basically where you're gonna have the most people living in this area uh, here in St. Martin. Um, basically, there's like around 100,000 people that live on this island. Slightly more you're going to see on uh, the Dutch side. But it's pretty much cut in half. So half of the people live in this side, half of the people live in the French side. So um, we're just going to be looking around and uh, seeing what we find. Yeah, so this is pretty cool right here. You have um, the old street, St. Martin. So let's go see what it consists of. They have little shops, little boutiques here. Um, most of it though is closed. I'm assuming because of the time that we came here. It's already five, so pretty much looks like everything is kind of like closed right now. So, um, but we also see that there's a lot of vacancies too. Like there's for rent over here. Uh, I'm not surprised about that. I mean, the economy all over the world has been pretty much, you know, kind of like really bad. See this one, it says close until August 6th. And then it says permanent closure august 31st so obviously we see where certain things um could be messed up because of the economy so not too surprising to me so here we have more designer brands like calvin klein ralph lauren levi's so if you definitely want to shop this is definitely your spot to come to, Front Street area. Um, basically where the cruise, the cruises come in and then everyone floods St. Martin here in Phillipsburg. We're here at the courthouse of the city of Phillipsburg, St. Martin. Really nice. So this is Great Bay Beach. This is where the, the cruises basically stop. So all the tourists from the cruise will be let out here and uh, over there. And then you can actually come in here, enjoy the beach here and enjoy shopping. So really nice area. Uh, I wouldn't say this is the best beach that St. Martin has to offer, but um, it is really nice, especially on the other side has a larger beach front and um, honestly when the cruises are here this looks like a really nice place to be but right now it's pretty much dead I guess some shops wait so the cruises actually come in to really open up and uh, offer all the services to everyone Okay, so now we are going to Fort Louise or Fort Louis. Um, this is the fort that they have here, much like they have all over the Caribbean, uh, Havana, Cuba, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, so, it's be pretty exciting to check this out. I'm not sure if we have to pay. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. But so far, it doesn't really seem like we have to. Oh, it looks like we could have brought the car up here too. Uh, we parked it down there. See that parking lot down there? Show them the parking lot down there.
We are here. <laughs> the fourth entrance doors were removed and the pilasters and uprights were already deteriorated as of 1820. So they let this place deteriorate. Um, I guess not much maintenance has been done to this place compared to other forts in the Caribbean. Again, like the one in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm out of breath here. <laughs> we just ate too. Wow. Tell you what, you definitely have some great views here. So these are definitely some of the best views of Marigo, the French side of the island. Look at that. By the way, there's Anguilla. Uh, we were there uh, two days ago. Had a great time over there. Very, very beautiful. Okay. So looks like they have some old leftover cannons. So I tried to get a super dope drone shot. Would have had the French flag and everything, but um, this is authorization zone. You need to have special permission to fly here. Um, I tried uh, on my drone, but yeah, I could not do it. So this is the best we get. But it would have been so nice to just take it over here, get that shot. I was really, I really, really wanted that. But this is beautiful to be here. So. You guys gotta come check this out. Free, completely free. You know, pay nothing. And uh, you get some really nice views of Marigo from up here. So I would definitely recommend you to come. All right, now we're heading into the West Indies Shopping Mall. Pretty famous uh, here as a place to go. Obviously shopping, right? So let's see what it has inside. How does it look? Well, I'm happy to report it's air conditioned. It smells like a bakery in here. It looks really nice actually. Yeah. They got nice little boutique shops here. Uh, it was a solid cost there. 
Look at this. Pretty cool. Okay, so they had about three, four floors. There's a restaurant um, on the top. It has like a panoramic view of uh, Marigo. Not too much, uh, not too many stores, honestly. So um, if you want to come and check out the little boutique shops, maybe you want a souvenir, great place to come to, but not really that much to uh, really explore as far as many stores. I would say Tops, they had maybe 20 to 25 stores. Um, so not that Okay, so we decided to move on to Anse Marcel uh, just to check out a view of this amazing uh, resort it's called the Dreams Resort here in St. Martin. It's right down there. Check it out. Um, this is a, an area where you kind of have some seclusion. There are cameras there, so they record uh, every car that's coming in. So this is more like an upscale area. There's mansions uh, right behind... Uh, well, right in front of this uh, mountain and um, looks really really nice over here very private very out of the way from everything else if I'm not mistaken that island there could either be Anguilla or St. Barnes I'm thinking it's Anguilla uh, so this is beautiful I like it we're back at a resort area Looking for the beach. Oh. I've been this my new favorite spot. So here we are, part of the beach here. A uh, very small area. Looks really nice though. Look at the crystal clear water here. Spectacular. Got the planes coming in. And this place is truly beautiful. Um, I love, there's nobody here, how secluded we are here. Oh, there's a little bit of rocks here. But the water looks incredible. I would recommend um, water shoes only just in case if, you know, you step on a rock. But here, it's a, uh, it's yeah, it's pretty way. sandy, so it's you'll be okay. Have to go in a little bit, but man, this is truly beautiful. And uh, those people that have the rooms right here, they have the best view to this. Although we have a great view too, but we we have to see their um, their rooftops, which are not that very well maintained. But man, this is this is amazing. Uh, there's a really nice beach over there. But it's more like sandy and everything so we have kind of like the outskirts of their um their area and then uh there's homes um right next to us that have that private area right there for themselves so this is truly truly an amazing amazing beach and uh not many people know about this spot particularly so i, I love it it's secluded it's just us two yeah. You can snorkel. That's how clear the water Yeah, the water is crystal, now, crystal clear. There, there is a sign before you walk in, and it looks like they close the door after 7 p.m. Just because, you know, understandably the tide is probably higher around that time, and the waves are already kind of strong right now, and it's it's only 12, so. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, you can't, you can't ask for better than this, honestly, and to keep it to yourself. So we've been blessed this whole time to have the beach to ourselves. And we have a, a uh, pool that we can... Yeah, so we haven't even touched the pool yet. I mean, this is really why we come to the Caribbean to get these beautiful beaches. And St. Martin has just wonderful beaches as well, just like Anguilla and other parts of the Caribbean. So very happy to be here. So after that scrumptious dinner, we came to uh, Kupakoi Beach to watch the sunset. We haven't really caught one here, although we've seen the sun going down, but we haven't really caught 
a sunset to actually stare at it. So today looks like it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, there are some clouds in the way though, so we're hoping that they clear up and so we get a really nice sunset. Yeah, this is your place. You want to watch a sunset here in St. Um, St. Martin, you got to come here to Kupakoi Beach. It's perfect. It's not crowded. A couple of people here enjoying the, the waves, enjoying the breeze, and we're here enjoying the sunset. Good morning, everyone. We are here in Bay Rouge, St. Martin, the French side. Um, we were looking to see all the nice beaches today. Um, we're really going to focus on probably three of them. Uh, so since this one is really close to where we're staying, we decided to come here first. Um, but it's a very secluded area. Like you have security guards all over the place um, and you have to like kind of go through security point sections. So Thankfully, we um, didn't have a problem coming in. No problem at all coming in here. Yeah, like uh, we passed through one of them and we just came straight in. So um, they didn't even ask us anything. We just went straight in. So this is really pretty much where, you know, you have the people that have the money money. There are some nice mansions here in this beach. So pretty cool, beautiful, pretty little wall here that welcomes you into the area. Beirouche. It is a gorgeous beach. The water is crystal clear here, just like anywhere else here in St. Martin. And um, you have uh, children playing soccer here. So, um, really nice place to come to if you just want to avoid the crowds. Uh, but again, not many crowds here, so I don't think you're going to be worried too much. But there, the two beaches that we're going to visit, we do expect to see most of the crowds there because those are the ones that are rated uh, two of the best, which would be Orient uh, Bay and Mullet Bay. Um, so we're going to check those out today. Um, so that's that. But here, we just wanted to see the view. We wanted to see how it was here. But we're going to dip in those uh, two really nice beaches. So. You want something more quiet, something more secluded? For sure, this is your spot. All right, so now we are here in Orient Bay Beach area. And I gotta tell you, we passed through all of this. Beautiful um, places to rent, residents. They have nice stores here. This is pretty much the nicest spot that I've seen so far. Um, as far as development here in St. Martin, it's really nice. Um, I can see why many people would want to s actually book rooms here um, to really relax and have a good time. A lot more tourists here, by the way. Um, probably the most populated area we've seen so far. beach and I gotta tell you it is really nice there's a lot more waves here though and um, seems like uh, there's a, a bit of seaweed here I have a truck that basically picks it up but um, if you like more of waves and, and like that this would be a really nice beach to be at uh, it is it is nice but this is basically where all the people are I mean we 
we have not seen um, more tourists than this. I mean, this is the top rated beach here in St. Martin. Now you can do jet skis here. But I gotta be honest with you, um, after seeing some of the beaches that I've already seen on this trip, this one I would put at the bottom of my list. Uh, honestly, the beach that we have in uh, our hotel in um, Kukukoi uh, Bay is way better than this to me. I mean, although the water, you know, it's, it's nice, and you got the waves and longer strands this is not the best one for me it's really not so um, I'm assuming that everyone puts it up on number one for facilities what you could do right but um for me there are better beaches here in St. Martin than this one I gotta tell you and I'm glad that I rented a car and went out to different areas because then I would just think that this is it so nice area beach wise it's nice, but there's a lot better here in St. Martin than this beach. All right, so we have moved from that uh, Orient Bay area, and we are back in our area where we're staying, which um, it's one of those buildings back there. <laughs> but um, we're now going to Mullet Bay, which is another top rated uh, beach here in St. Martin, on the Dutch side this time. And, um, you know, Orient Bay was nice, um, but due to the bit of seaweed um, and water clarity not being as nice as the other beaches we've seen here, uh, we said, you know what, let's, let's go straight to uh, Mullet Bay and see how that is, since that's also considered one of the best. So, um, let's check it out. So far, we have this beautiful entry into the beach. Wow, this is beautiful. I would have to say this is the best beach in St. Martin. What do you think? Mm -hmm. This is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous looks, beach here. Water looks clear. Has some type of waves. The, the sand is really soft. Soft white sand. Yeah, this is, this is it. And look, it's not that packed. I mean, besides the touristic area, but right here, there's all this sand towards us. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Okay. Now, important to know, uh, this is a clothing optional beach, just like many of the beaches here in uh, St. Martin. They're clothing optional, so you might see uh, some breasts or two and trip so just be careful if you're gonna bring kids um, be conscious of that as families uh, come by you know that it is gonna happen but for some of you I guess that wouldn't be a problem but for others you know just letting you know we don't want to see it Wow, this is a beauty. It um, it looks just as nice as the beach in Anguilla uh, another day. Yeah, by far, 
the best beach here in St. Martin is Mullet Bay. Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Tell me am I wrong about this? Maybe I judge Orion Bay because of uh, you know bad maintenance in the area. You tell me, but this this is beautiful, man. The less people here, I mean there's a lot of people over there. But this is a beauty. Just look at the views. It's amazing. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but it's time to go back home. St. Martin, your amazing island with beautiful beaches, uh, beautiful people. And we, we were really excited to enjoy this beautiful place. So, for those of you that watch all the way to the end, thank you for watching my videos. I ask you all to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And continue watching other videos that we have here on the channel. There'll be more uh, going forward in the future. Thank you for always supporting me and God bless.